Hey ladies, welcome to the launch party. I'm Lindsay and I'm gonna be helping out today with the launch. Um, I'm gonna be doing the five minute face and an eyeshadow look. So let's get started. Um, I, where do I wanna start? Well, there's so many like good, amazing things about this product. So, okay, anyways, we will start with contour. Um, I hope that you guys were able to watch some of the previous posts and know that all of these foundations and contours are cream. So here's your contours and foundations. We call them highlights. So it might be a little confusing. I was a little confused in the beginning. Um, lip and cheek, because they're used for your lip and cheek. And there's some beautiful eyeshadows. Okay, so we are gonna get started with the contour, okay? So I have a fresh face, a little bit of moisturizer on there, and I'm gonna get in here with my contour. I use the color Astoria, and I'm just going to make some dots across the top of my forehead. Oh, got a little bit of crazy there, it's fine. Blends out, you guys, you can't like really screw up this makeup, which is um, so good. I was a little bit terrified when I first started, but it's super easy. Okay, when you do, when you contour your cheeks, make sure you go to the top of your ear, and then you're just gonna bring it down your cheekbone a little. Okay, I take mine to the bottom of my cheekbone, but you don't wanna bring it too close to your mouth. Okay, so when you come around this side, around the temple, find the top of your ear, and bring it down the side. And bring it down the side to the bottom, to the bottom of your cheekbone. Yeah, just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna connect them again, and bring it just underneath your jaw, like so. Okay, you see this? Nothing fancy, ladies. Just get it on. And because these are creams, you guys, if you put too much on or if we make a mistake, we can just wipe it off or blend it out or whatever. It's fine. Totally fine. Okay, super easy to correct mistakes with this makeup. So, on. Okay, we call this the three and the E. Okay, so three and E, contour is your three and E. Easy, easy. Okay, now we're gonna go in with our main highlight. I use, or not our main, sorry, brightening, way to confuse you already. Brightening highlight, okay, brightening highlight goes underneath the eyes in a little bit of a triangle here. I call this the covering up of the luggage. Okay, little triangle. Try not to cake too much on under here, okay? But again, if you do, we just blend it out. It's fun. Okay, so we're gonna, a little bit, make sure I don't gouge my eye out with my fingernail. Okay, a little triangle. Actually, mine are kind of big, but my luggage is kind of big, so I gotta do the big triangle to cover up the luggage. And then you go between the eyebrows. Well, and I already did my eyebrows today because it's kind of hard to do the eyebrows in a phone. So that will be another video, ladies. Um, okay, sidetrack Sally. Simba patch between the eyebrows. And then we're gonna just do a line down the nose and I just take it and do your cupid bow and right underneath your chin, or underneath your lip. Sorry, not your chin. Okay, now, main highlight. So brightening highlights on, this is gonna bring focus to where our best features are. This is where we want the focus is right here. Okay, now, Brightening highlight. I'm going to use amber. Um, yes, this is amber. Sorry, I almost, I was thinking that I grabbed the wrong color. That could have been 
not so good. Okay, and with our main highlight, we're just gonna build ourselves a little beard here. Okay, you see the beard? And then a little bit of a mustache, just like that. And then I put a little dot on either side of my nose. And I'm gonna take this up just above that contour line. There, kind of, you're gonna put your main highlight really where you don't have any makeup on your face. Okay, so, and just underneath the contour line. Ta-da, it's on. Okay, now we can add our lip and cheek now or we can go on after. I have been liking doing it after because then I can make it pop better. It's fine. Okay, now to blend this stuff all into your face. Um, I'm gonna use Buffy today, but the 30 second hack is really great too. So pick your poison ladies. They're both fantastic. All the mascara brushes are amazing. And if you're like me, you'll just wanna buy them all. Okay. In here, with the smaller end of the Buffy, I'm just going to stipple underneath my eyes. Stippling away. Good. Okay, and then what you do to one, do to the other. Okay, and because you're moving that makeup around, obviously you're gonna have a little bit on your brush. I want you to just take that and sweep it over top of your eyelids, like so, because it acts as your primer for your eyeshadow. So it's perfect, it's like a two for one. It's awesome. Okay, now I always start down at my chin and then I just start blending, blending, blending in circular motion, but really it doesn't matter, okay? You just wanna blend it in. So I pull that contour a little bit underneath my chin because we wanna try and have that like a nice shadow chiseled look okay that's what we're going for and then blendy blend this now when you get up to your cheeks here you're going to flick this up 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 okay don't pull down we want to go up. We're trying to give that illusion of pulling our face up and having nice high chiseled cheekbones. So I just like to take and flick this up. I've, when I started blending down here, ladies, I switched to the bigger end. Sorry, I kinda forgot to let you in on that little secret. So again, here I am just flicking up. Oh look, I forgot to blend right here. We'll just get in there and blend it, okay? On the nose. And then I just go up in here and blend this out. Circular. And there it is. So once you're all blended, the only thing that we can really do wrong with this makeup is put too much on. So grab your beauty blender, dampen it, and then get in here and just pick up any extra makeup that might have been left. And because we don't want to look cakey. This makeup should not be cakey. It should look, it should be like a second skin. We're gonna, it, it's beautiful and it feels like a moisturizer on your face. Yeah, I've been loving it and it gives you that like youthful, dewy look. I just, I can't get over it. Okay, so face is done. All right, now to do eyeshadows. Okay, so now we have primed our eyelids with our highlight, and now we need to set it. So I'm going to use my eyeshadow everything brush, and I'm just going to dip into 
cupcake right here. It's just a nice light dusting that we're gonna put all over the lid, kind of just to set that primer, okay? Oh, I just use this nice windshield wiper, washer wiper, lotion, and dust my whole lid with cupcake. Okay, now I'm gonna run it, go in and grab Rome. And I am going to do a high crease with that same windshield washer motion. Um, so I'm going just into the crease and then just above onto my upper eyelid. Okay, and we'll do the same to the other so that we're a little bit matchy. So this is going to be a super neutral look. This is kind of my everyday go-to get the groceries, get the kids to school look. Okay, now I'm flipping ends to the finer tipped end and I'm grabbing a little bit of stardust and I'm just going to do an outer crease or outer corner, not outer crease. I'm gonna go along the crease and do an outer corner. So along the crease and outer corner with that. Just give it a little more depth. One more. Okay. And that upper corner. So, and this doesn't have to be perfect, ladies, because at the end we are going to blend it all so that it's, I don't know, melts nicely together. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of fin. It's a little bit darker. And I'm just going to just do the outer corner. Okay, on both sides. A little bit more. These are super pigmented, so they will last you forever. That. And then you can take that and actually just run it along your bottom lash. Now if I add a little bit more, hopefully I don't go too dark. Yeah, that's good. Just like that, okay? So now I'm gonna flip back to my fluffy end and I'm going to blend this all into the center, just like so, up and in, and same here, up. And then of course, if you find that you blended too much out, you can always go and add a little bit more after, but I kind of like it. I like it just like that. Okay, so the great thing too with these eyelash or eyelashes, eyeshadows, is you can use them as your eyeliners. I do all the time. I use this handy little brush called the Multitasker, and I'll just show you. I'll go into that fin that I was using earlier and do a little bit of a liner here. It's got this great angled, um, <laughs> I'm concentrating too much, sorry, angled end, angled brush end, um, and it's so nice for doing eyeliner and eyeliner and your eyebrows. It is my go-to eyebrow brush. It's great. Okay. So I've added the eyeliner on. You can go in and touch up the bottom stuff if you need to. Great. And then I do want to just go in. I'm gonna, just grabbing another 
little brush and add a little bit of Sabrina just in the corner here, just to lighten things up. Just to lighten it up. You don't want to have too much darkness in the clothes, in the corner of your eye. Lighten all that up. There. It's done. It's easy. Oh, I like almost forgot we need to do lip and cheek because we didn't do it earlier. So I am, now we've done our five minute face, our eyes, and because I forgot, we're gonna go back in and do lip and cheek. So, here we go. I'm actually going to pick plum, okay? So I'm gonna take plum and I'm just gonna go on the tops of my cheeks here, just like that. And I love plum for my lips, so. Easy peasy. Okay, I'm just gonna grab. Um, I'm using the blush and bronzer brush to um, blend this in. Oh my. Lose my marbles a little bit. There. Okay. Look is almost complete. So mascara doesn't have mascara, so please just use whatever you want, whatever you love. Okay. Um, I use Fen Norma by Mary Kay. Um, I love supporting the other lovely ladies who do home businesses. And so, and the products is, products are good. Fan Norma, Mary Kay, that's my, my go-to. All right, I hope you guys were able to grab a few tidbits from today's session, and if you have any questions, just stick them in the comments. Okay, have a great one, ladies. Thanks for watching.